conference realignment could hinge on Amazon. Of all the different <laughs> broadcast companies that would be, uh, I guess, key in who ends up in which conference, Amazon could be the one that really details it. And the way that that could go through, uh, if you check out CBSSports.com, Dennis Dodd has a good article about it. Uh, it says, conference realignment, Amazon interest may affect Big Ten, Big 12, and Pac-12 composition as talks continue. It says further realignment could be on the horizon as media rights packages remain outstanding. So here's the situation. Amazon is very interested in getting college football rights. Now, their NFL debut did incredibly well. Uh, they had over 15 million viewers that tuned in for the stream. They had an average, if I'm not mistaken, of over 13 million people that watched uh, the Chargers and the Chiefs. Now, they don't expect that from whatever TV deal they end up going with, whichever conference. But they are talking to the Big Ten, the Big 12, and the Pac-12. Well, why does that make any difference? Obviously, all of these, the Big Ten just signed this massive contract. Uh, the Big 12 and the Pac-12, obviously, uh, are working out media negotiations, media rights negotiations with ESPN and with Fox. But the issue here is quality content for Amazon. If they want to do a deal with the Big Ten, that would mean that the Big Ten would need to go and get more inventory, and Amazon would get the bare end of that inventory. They would get the very least little bit. They've got 112 games that are already accounted for. If you go out and you bring in two other teams, you can find a way to get more games out of that, obviously, because uh, you're going to get nine more conference games per team out of each one. So you've got at least 18 more games there. But does Amazon want to pay a bunch for the low end of Big Ten? Uh, probably not. So what you're going to try and do is figure out which top tier is worth more. Is that in the Pac-12 or is that in the Big 12? And whichever one Amazon decides that they want to work with, and not necessarily top tier, but even the secondary rights, right? The tier two games that they can get, which one is going to be worth more to the company? Which one, and, and that's where it gets tricky, is you got to figure out not only who is more tech savvy, but who is more willing to uh, buy an Amazon subscription to be able to watch their team, right? So if you bring up, oh yeah, the Pac-12, obviously out west, on the West Coast, they know a lot more about computers, et cetera. And this is all stereotypical stuff, right? But you would think that the West Coast would be more willing to stream content as opposed to just watching it linearly. Well, the issue with that is how many of those people are willing? How many of them are passionate enough about their teams in order to go through the trouble of going with a new streaming service? Right, that's that's where it gets tricky because in the Pac-12, yes, the name brands might not be as big, but you might have more passionate fans that care more about their teams. That's where this whole thing gets tricky. So if Amazon decides, yeah, we're going to put our stock into the Big 12, well, that will absolutely affect the bottom line of the Pac-12. And in that situation, uh, the Big 12 is going to be making more money per team there more than likely will be a clause for expansion. Uh, and if the Big 12 wants to bring in some of those Pac-12 teams, well, that could effectively just end the Pac-12, right? That's where it gets tricky. So if the Big 12, obviously we've talked about this in the past, Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, Colorado, they want to bring in those four. That makes a 16-team league much the same as the SEC and the Big 10. No, it's not on the same caliber, but it is still uh, effectively ending the Pac-12 conference, at least as a viable Power 5 conference. And who would have thought that Amazon, of, of all streaming companies, of all broadcast partners, would be the one that would end up making this decision because I don't think it's going to be too far off the difference per school what ESPN and Fox are willing to pay to the Big 12 and or the Pac-12, right? I think both of them are going to get deals. It's just who does Amazon want to give that much money to. It's going to be really tricky. I am very interested to see what is going to end up coming out of this. But man, uh, Amazon calling the shots. 
trying to figure out who they want, who they are going to make a viable contender, a viable conference. Whew. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.